You have a bigger brand and influence than you think, and I want to show you how to bring it out and use it. On this channel, we grow real estate businesses through powerful systems and strategies so we can still have an amazing life and leverage all the things we do. If that's what you're interested in, make sure you hit the subscribe button. My name's Alicia Crestel. Let me help you build your brand. In this video, we're gonna walk step by step and you're gonna be able to do this either with me or after the video today if you want to, because I'm sharing the template. Regardless if you have a logo, colors, anything thought out, or if you've been in business for a long time, I can guarantee you're probably not using it to your fullest extent. What I wanna make abundantly clear first is that you already have a brand. Whether you know it or not, or you've been using it or not, people feel a certain kind of way when they're around you, they think of you with certain things, that is already in place. They already have stories in their brain about you. So now this is how we control what that is. I'm gonna show you my brand sheet that I've used and I've helped many, many agents do the same to help elevate their brand. It's so simple. The first thing you're gonna do is pick seven words that you want people to feel, think, are about your brand, what you stand for. What is that? What, how would you describe your brand? For example, mine say loyal, resolute, genuine, abundant, grateful, forthcoming, and reasonable. That's what I'm about in a nutshell. You don't wanna take a lot of time to think about this. You just wanna grab your pen and start writing down. And this is a little bit fluid, so you might write seven words down now, or you might only get to four, and that's fine. Just write down whatever comes to mind, and as you think about it more, we're planting seeds in your brain to think like, what do I really stand for? What is my brand all about? And as you're thinking about it, you can add or take words off or replace them if you find a better word. We just need a starting point. Second part to this is writing down your brand beliefs. And this is how we're gonna do this. You're gonna make five sentences and they're gonna start with, I believe. A couple examples of this is one of my, the ones I stand for most is, I believe people over money always. I believe having a home you love can change your life. I believe you can accomplish anything once you decide it's possible. I believe working with people you trust. Gives you some idea where to go with. You can do anything. I believe in being genuine. I believe in whatever it is you believe in. It's just giving you a sample of what you're what at the core you're about. What you'll find when you write these words down, you'll learn a little bit about yourself, A. But then if you go back and look at your past clients or who you work with and you like the most, you'll find that these are common threads in them. Maybe not the ones you didn't like so much, but the ones that you like and enjoyed, you'll see this showing up in them. And the more you own it and share your brand this way, the more people you'll get like that. This is one of the simplest ones on the sheet is find an emoji like my little crab one here that suits you. Doesn't have to be totally original. Do other people put crabs? 100%. But the people I know when I'm putting a crab, they're relating it to me. Just like when we walk around the neighborhood, my seven-year-old sees a mailbox with Woody on it all the time. That to her is the only Woody mailbox in life because that is her central sphere, her central location. There could be six million other mailboxes with Woody's on there. That's the only one she cares about. That's exactly what your little emoji will do to your sphere and the people that you interact with. At the bottom, I pick photos that brought me joy and that I thought represented who I was and what my business was about. Don't take a lot of time with this. All of this can be refined. This is just getting you a start. If you have a logo, great. If you don't, don't worry about it. And then your colors can be based off your logo or you can pick colors that you like, A, but that also makes sense for your clients. Like if neon green, everyone hates neon green, don't use it. If people in your sphere are like, well, get down neon green, use it. Once we have these in place, then we start thinking each time when we post or we share something, is it in line with this? Are the things that I'm doing in line with this? Are the client events, if you decide to do them, in line with this and does it make sense for my brand? If you're not sure of your brand words or your beliefs, you can ask social media, hey, I'm working with a coach, that's me, and she's asked me to figure out what words represent me and my business. What do you think? That simple post that you're doing there is not only gonna reaffirm to them what your brand's about because you guys are gonna talk about it, but it also gives you the ability to have a conversation and connection and for them to be invested in what you're doing, which creates more clients. You can also share the words that you've already done. You can say, well, I know that loyal and resolute and abundant are one. What else, how else would you guys describe me? I'm stuck here. You're asking for their help without asking for a referral. If you have an emoji picked out already that is you, put it below. If you're deciding between a couple, put them below and we'll help you decide. 
what we're not going to do is take these things and make it be involved in every post or everything that we ever do. It's just going to be there subtly for you to think about and have intention behind. So when you have to make decisions or share things, that you're sharing them in line with your brand. A couple other examples that you can do to really share this brand is use any of these belief statements or the brand words and use them in your Facebook stories, your Instagram stories to show what you're about and what you believe in. At the core of branding, it's to get people to think about you when you're not around. It's to get you to stand out. It's to have other people aware of your message. And ultimately, it's for leverage. So here are some simple things in addition to what we've already talked about that you can do to hammer your brand home. Share your brand journey. If you're looking at a logo or you're looking to change things or pick colors, ask your people and get them involved. Use colored envelopes. Super simple. If you have orange or yellow or blue in yours, use those as your envelope colors. People will open them more and it helps you with brand recognition. Include things in your background or on your clothes or in things that you do in your posts that are your brand, i.e. crabs or things that you're known for. When you give gifts, if you give gifts, is it coming from your heart or is it just like a random gift? You can use those opportunities to help brand yourself. I don't mean just putting a logo on, I mean them to embody what your brand is. Don't be shy about who you are or what you represent because that seriously helps to attract and repel people. Video. Coming on video, there's nowhere to hide. It actually exposes you if you're a mean person or rude or not who you say you really are. People will pick up your genuine self and it's one of the easiest ways to show your brand without really having to think about it much because you just show up. And most importantly, if you haven't already done this, go watch the hook points video because it shows you exactly how to pull in clients and get them to know you for your brand, things that you choose and how it's like being a fisherman and just putting out bait and bringing the best clients to you. Make sure you subscribe first and let me know if you thought this video was any good. Bye.